sounds like you've been having a wonderful time. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, hello. Uh, I, I bet you don't know who this is. Well, should I know? This is Bunny's Aunt Laura from Beaver Falls, Arkansas. Well, hot dang. <laughs> How are things in the Razorback country? Oh, they're just fine. Yeah. Isn't it a small world? Whoever would have thought I'd meet someone practically from home right here in the middle of all these Italians. <laughs> a lot of Americans visit Rome this time of year. You heard from Bunny lately? Well, no. As I was saying to Mrs. Williams, my niece, Julianne, is on her way to visit Bunny right now. She's going to be a star in Bunny's husband's nightclub. She... She's going to play at the Cobra Club? Is that the name of it? Well, whatever it is, she's going to be the star of it. Funny, Charlie never mentioned it in his letters. Well, darling, uh, Charlie hasn't met Julianne. Uh, he doesn't even know she's coming. He doesn't know she's coming, but she's going to be the star in his club. He'll snap her up just as soon as he finds out how much talent she has. Oh, goodness, I've got to run. The tour is going to the catacombs. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. You know, we're very proud of Julianne back home in Beaver Falls. Oh, I'm sure you are. Bye. Bye-bye. Operator, this is an emergency. Give me the overseas operator right away. Danny, what are you doing? I'm gonna call Charlie to warn him, for gosh oh, sakes. Oh, no, Danny, don't. Sweetheart, you want him to get stuck with some hay seed from the sticks, do you? Danny, you don't even know this girl. She may be a great talent. From Beaver Falls, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me that I recall a very successful comic who started in Deerfield, Michigan. How can you compare Beaver Falls with Deerfield? Do you realize Deerfield is only 80 miles from Battle Creek? <laughs> big city slicker, aren't you? Oh, Danny, this may be Julianne's big chance. You shouldn't rock the boat from 3,000 miles away. Surprise! Changed a bit. No, there's just a little bit more on me, that's uh, all. <laughs> Lisa, why didn't you write and tell me you were coming here for a visit? Well, it's more than a visit, a lot more. Oh? Oh, well, I'll tell you about that as soon as I catch my breath. You, you know, this is my first plane trip, and my head's still in the clouds. Ah, oh, you liked it, huh? Oh, it was more fun than a bucket of frogs. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine. There we were, flying at 30,000 feet, and all of a sudden, they brought out trays of food. Oh, imagine eating at 30,000 feet. <laughs> oh, I, I just can't believe I'm in New York City. Well, listen, Julian, you gotta tell me, what are you doing here in New York? Well, say, do you mind if I take off my shoes? Well, no, honey, sit right down here, be comfortable. I just can't seem to get used to these high heels. I generally wear boots on the farm. Uh, <laughs> listen, now, come on, tell me, what are you doing here in New York? Well, I've got big news for you. Yeah? I'm ready. You're ready for what? <laughs> the Great White Way. The Great White Way? Well, show business. I'm ready for it. What? Don't you remember how I'm always entertaining and singing and taking off parts and skits? Well, four years running, I was winner at the Rice Festival, and two years I was made queen of the Grand Prairie Lumberman's Association. <laughs> well, Mom and Pop and me decided it was time to make the move and become a star. Ah, a star. You decided to be a star. <laughs> and since your hubby has this nightclub here in New York, I figured this is the place to start being one. Yes, there's uh, no sense keeping Broadway waiting, is there? No, sir. <laughs> Say, uh, when's your hubby coming home? Well, I, uh, I, I don't know exactly, uh, Julie. And, uh, look, honey, don't count on miracles. You know, you uh, can't exactly become a star overnight. Well, nobody knows that better than me. Well, I realize it sometimes takes weeks. <laughs> yeah, the day it takes weeks. Well, I didn't become star back home until I'd done four or five shows and got my name in the Fort Smith Herald. <laughs> Say, they did a, a write-up about me in Billy B's column. <laughs> Doings after dark. I was recommended as one of the things to see. <laughs> Gee, darling, I'm, I'm proud of you. That's, that's wonderful. But uh, look, Julie, when Charlie comes home, will you, will you kind of let me handle things? I mean, let me pave the way? Anything you say, Buferdina. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Julie, uh, please don't call me Buferdina. That's your name. Yes, I, I know, but Charlie knows me as Bunny. 
Bunny? What a silly name. <laughs> well, honey, look, suppose we get you settled up in the guest room, huh? Listen, ain't it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you're not surprised. Why, you're responsible for this. I am? <laughs> Don't you remember? That night you saw me at the Sulphur Rock Coal Miners Employees Annual Hijinks? Well, I remember your words clear as anything. You said, Julie, I predict you'll end up on Broadway. I predicted that, did I, huh? Sure did. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, me and my big fat crystal ball. <laughs> Charlie, darling. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I'm so glad. <laughs> darling, I have the most marvelous news for you. You will never guess, so go ahead and guess. No, darling, let me take your hat and coat from you first. Here you are, darling. Now, since I know you won't be able to guess, I'm going to tell you. But first, darling, come sit down here on this chair. <laughs> oh, yes, darling, you've noticed I lost a few pounds. Now, sit down. <laughs> now, dear, my big surprise for you is... My cousin, Julianne Peters, has come from Arkansas, and she's a performer. Isn't that keen? <laughs> now, dear, uh, I know that you are marvelous about taking new young people in the show business and helping them, so uh, I decided I'd give you first chance. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, uh, no, Charlie, dear, no, darling, I don't want you to thank me. After all, I'm your wife. It's my duty. <laughs> now, uh, darling, I will go upstairs and bring Julie down so you can meet her. <laughs> I know Uncle Charlie is small, but I can usually see him. <laughs> Russ, I was rehearsing my courage. Oh, you figure Uncle Charlie isn't about to give your cousin Julie a chance, huh? If he happens to be in a good mood, I just might be able to talk him into it. Wish me luck, Russ. Oh, Charlie, darling, hi, dear, how are you? Oh, oh, so good to see you, darling. Enough, enough with the lovey-dovey. <laughs> Lots of luck, Aunt Bunny. What, what does he mean? What, what do you mean? Oh, we're having elections at the garden club, dear. It's nothing. Oh. Uh, honey? Yeah? Uh, are you in a good mood tonight? No, I'm not. The way I feel today, Mount Vesuvius is a firecracker. <laughs> well, darling, what is it? I'll give it to you in two words. Jerry Sperber. Oh, my goodness. Is that all? What's the matter? Did he beat you at golf again? No, worse than that. Guess who has a nephew who is a great undiscovered talent and all he needs is one little break at a place like the Copa Club. <laughs> J J Jerry? Why should he be the exception? <laughs> you know, I've discovered something. What's that, dear? Everybody in this whole world is different. Except for one thing. They've all got a relative who could be the new sensation of show business if I would just give him an audition at the Copa Club. Why? Why my club? Why do they always pick me? Why can't they be a sensation at some other club? Oh, the nerve of that Jerry Sperber. Yeah, he's not even a relative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a relative, it's something different. If, it would be different if a relative was to ask you a favor. Uh, sure. Relative, you can tell, go jump in the lake. <laughs> you know. I mean, so what have you got? One lost relative. <laughs> but a good golf buddy. Oh, boy, they're hard to find. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time auditioning no talent relatives. Well, hi! Did you tell him about me? No, no. Tell, tell, tell me, tell me what? Who is this, honey? Well, go ahead and tell him. Tell him. Uh, Charlie? Huh? Uh, Charlie, this is uh, our new baby nurse. <laughs> our what? Uh, our, our new baby nurse. I mean, you, you never told me you were looking for a baby nurse. Oh, darling, didn't I? Oh, I've been looking low and high, high and low. And I was lucky enough to find Hilda. Hilda? That's your name. Uh, that's her name. <laughs> Hilda Trado. <laughs> Uh, 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 Charlie, dear, go have your milk and cookies. Huh? Honey, will you go play in your room? <laughs> what? No, no, oh, darling, uh, look, uh, why don't you go upstairs and change your clothes, freshen up for dinner? Well, at least that one makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice to have met you, um... Jewel. Hilda. Uh, uh, Jewel Hilda. <laughs> you call that paving the way? Oh, <laughs> Something came up, and I kind of had to change our plans. Why'd you have to tell him I'm a baby nurse? Why'd you just tell him I'm Julianne Peters? Now, how am I going to do my routines for him and my impersonations? You do impersonations? Well, sure. I do Tallulah Bankhead. I do Jimmy Cagney, Louis Armstrong, Winston Scoggins. 
not too many people know him. No, I think not, no. <laughs> Come here. I want to tell you something. You are going to get a chance to audition, but we have to set the stage differently. Now, look, tonight, I'm going to try <sighs> Darling, that was a good dinner, wasn't it? Honey, it was great. Mm. Just great. Uh, does that mean you are out of your mean, mad, grouchy old mood? It sure does. <laughs> well, Feel good. Better. Yeah. Good, darling. We can just sit and have a nice, quiet evening at home. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I need that. I tell you, I've been working a little hard, you know. Yeah, darling, why don't we and sit over here? Well, hmm? over here. Right over here. <laughs> you know, the funny thing no, about... No, I'll the... pick down at the end of the sofa. Why don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's It was a wonderful pot roast you made. I think you outdid yourself tonight. Oh, you... honey, look! What? Isn't that sweet? Hilda's bringing in the baby for us to say goodnight. <laughs> Hilda, isn't he a darling baby? He's a darling, an absolute darling. I've seen darling babies in my life, but he's the most darling, darling of them all. You <laughs> darling. Oh, my goodness, that's a... Well, do you know who she sounded like? Well, sure, Yogi Berra. <laughs> You're a good kid, Johnny. So don't worry about any dirty rats, because I'll take care of any dirty rats who bother you. <laughs> oh, James can't need to a tea. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, amazing? Uh, it, it, it's wild. Wild. <laughs> Darling, I think she's going to sing the baby to sleep. Blue skies up above, forever once in love. Up a lazy river, up the lazy river, with me, zotten da 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 What do you think of our new baby nurse? I think she'll confuse the poor kids. They won't know who's taking care of them. <laughs> what kind of a kook did you hire? Well, she's not a kook. She's very amusing, and the baby likes her. And I think she's very talented, don't you? <laughs> Funny, dear. When I come home from business, I don't want to talk business, you know? Let's just forget it. I don't want to talk about talent, about a rough day trying to... Put a new production of into shape. Oh, is that right, dear? Well, what's wrong? Well, I would rather not talk about it. No, no, darling, please do, because I'm very interested. Well, it's one of those new hold-down things. You know, where the, the guys dress as farmers and the girls dress as farmerettes. And what we're looking for is a, a good country singer, you know? Somebody to do a good hillbilly song to top it off. If we could but get a... But if fine for that sweet art of mine When they cut down the old pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> what we need is, uh, like I say, a good hillbilly singer. Hi, the old lady, yeah, lady, 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 wonderful. <laughs> oh, Charlie, dear, now, what were you saying about a good country singer? Well, just that there are... Bunny! <laughs> Bunny! You're not suggesting her. Charlie, what an idea! <laughs> Charlie, no wonder they call you the big brain of Broadway. I mean, you have that rare knack for discovering fresh young talent. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold everything! This is no baby nurse. This is a fugitive from an amateur show. <laughs> oh, boy, I heard of some pretty sneaky ways of trying to get the people. But, but, but posing as a baby nurse, this is the lowest. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Buferdina, are you going to let him talk that way to your cousin? <laughs> I don't... Cus cousin? No, oh, haven't you two met? Uh, Johnny, this is Julianne Peters, my cousin from Arkansas. Julie, this is my husband. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Funny, I am surprised that you... Putting a knife in your own husband's back. <laughs> Bufredina! <laughs> Charlie, dear, she came all the way from Arkansas. I don't care if she came all the way from outer Mongolia. <laughs> I'm not giving any auditions. But, honey, not, not even for my sake? Honey, will you stop making with the baby blues? I know you're my wife, and when I took the marriage vow and said I do, it didn't mean doing it for your whole family. <laughs> but, honey, don't you see the hole this'll get me in? She came here expecting me to help her. 
If I send her home now, what will the rest of my family think of me? With that name they gave you, they didn't think much of you in the first place. <laughs> now look, honey, the best way to do this, if to solve the whole problem, is to tell her to go home. Tell her the world isn't ready for a female Jimmy Cagney. Tell her to stop with that hokey yodeling, too. But, but honey, you didn't hear her out. You didn't let her finish. Doggone it, she can do a lot of things. She can sing popular songs real oh, well. Bunny, and bunny, bunny, honey, look, will you stop kidding yourself? You know as well as I do that she isn't exactly destined for stardom. Oh, swell, Charlie, swell! Now, how can I say that to anybody, especially my cousin? Very simple. You go up to her and you say, hi there, you're not exactly destined for stardom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie. If you don't want to listen to her, that is your privilege. Well, thank you for giving me that courtesy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... Guess it's all for the best. Guess I might as well send her home. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, if you're not gonna listen to her, she... She might as well leave now. Sooner the better. Yeah. Oh. Well, it'll probably simplify things. That's right. Yeah. Now that the guest room is free, Mom can come and visit us after all. <laughs> yeah. I... Mom! <laughs> your... your mom! <laughs> Mom had written and said she wanted to come and visit, but since Julie was staying in the guest room, I told her she couldn't. But now that we're sending Julie away... <coughs> Who's sending? <laughs> Who is sending her away? My own wife's cousin comes all the way from Arkansas. And you think I would send her away? Oh, Bunny. <laughs> For you to even think such a thing that I would think that is unthinkable. <laughs> Julie is gonna stay here in the guest room? And I'm gonna give her that audition. <laughs> so, hi, Earl. Charlie, dear, I am well, sorry we're late, but we got halfway here, and Julie discovered that she'd left her arrangements at home, so we had to go back and get the arrangements. <laughs> oh, she, she's she got arrangements and everything, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'll show you, honey. They're wonderful arrangements. Uh, Mel Prickett back in Beaver Falls did them for me. He's a well-known musician. Oh, oh, well, then, by all means, let's get right to it. Earl, do you want to take a crack at this? It's got a terrific arrangement, fellas, by Mel Prickett. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, now, wait a minute. Now, look, don't laugh. You know, this Mel Prickett is a great guy. He's the Leonard Bernstein of Arkansas. <laughs> okay, kid, you're on. Yeah, right there. Strange dear, but true dear, when I'm close to you. Guys. Well, what do you think? 
What do you mean, what does he think? Anyone who isn't tone deaf would know you were only great. You were marvelous. Charlie, was she fabulous? You're not bad. Not, not bad at all. <laughs> what do you mean, not bad? Is that all you have to say? Honey, what do you, what do you want me to say? Uh, the kid sang all the right words. She sang on key. What more can you expect from a kid from the sticks? Well, then you're uh, not going to use her? Are you kidding? I guess you don't think I got what it takes. Well, to put it bluntly, no. Look, kid, you realize where you are? This is it. This is Broadway, the big wheel, the brass ring. This is what all the shouting's about. You know who sings here, honey? Ethel Merman, Peggy Lee, Dinah Shore. That's right. You think you can play in a league like that? <laughs> well, you're very far from it, honey, very far. Charlie Halper, how can you talk like that to anybody, especially my cousin? Bunny, will you please butt out? This happens to be business and a sentiment I can't afford. Want me to level with you? You seem to be doing a pretty good job of it. All right. Take my advice. Beat it. Run while the running's good. Take the next train, plane, bus, or bicycle back to Arkansas. Marry the butcher's son. Have 12 kids. And if you have to sing, just don't go any farther than the Elks annual hijinks. And that, my corn-fed cutie, is good, sound advice. And I wouldn't take it in a million years. Oh, no, I came here to be a singer, and by gosh, I'm going to be one. And if I can't work at the Copa Club, then I'll go somewhere else. I'll knock on every door in town. Yeah, and I'll put my boots on and kick down a few if I have to, but I'm going to be a singer. And one day, you're going to beg me, just like I've been doing you, because I'm going to make it. And you're going to want me so bad it hurts. And another thing. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I said you're hired. Does he mean what I think he means? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> and I'm I relieved I thought he'd lost his marbles there for a minute. But if you think I'm going to make it, Cousin Charlie, <laughs> then why'd you say all them mean things to me? I learned that from a certain hook-nosed Lebanese philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> he always said that talent wasn't enough. He says that show business is no better roses. And it's a million to one odds against you. No matter what your musical talent is, if you can't fight those odds, this town will set you right on your cadenza. But you think I'll make it? I mean, you think I got it? Well, honey, there's no nothing for sure, you know. But the way you've been talking, I think you'll sure make a run for it. And I'll tell you another thing. While you're here, you're going to stay in our guest room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no! No, 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 no. You stay in our guest room because we insist, don't we, Bunny? Yes, dear, we do, but it's not gonna help you. Huh? There's still enough room in there for a cot for Mommy. Oh, no. <laughs> There'll be a change in the weather and a change in the sea. Stop. Stop. Cause nobody wants you when you're old. 